Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to export detail and drill down reports to the Excel. It's very common when we create the reports and deploy to the report server and then we give permission to the users. User would like to take a look on the report but they would like to download in different formats for their further use. So in this case they would like to use that report in Excel. So they, how they can export that report to Excel, that's what we are going to learn. First of all, let me show you SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and show you two reports. So I have detailed report and if I will preview this report, this is how it will look like. One, once you are done with the development of this report, you will be deploying this report. Let me show you drill down report. So then we will deploy them. And from here, you can see that we have drilled down by region and then further drilled down by country. So that's how our report will look like. Now, once you are done with the development in SSDT SQL Server Data Tools, you will be going to the solution, right click and go to properties. Once properties will open, you will tell to which report server you would like to deploy your report. Here we have target server URL and that's where you will be providing the URL of the report server. In my case, I'm providing the report server underscore SQL 2014. Other part you will be doing a report, a target report folder where you would like to deploy these reports. So once you have that set, you can hit OK. I have made a lot of videos on deployment, how to deploy single report, multiple report and all that. You can watch those videos. So once the folder for reports and the URL for report server is set, we can simply click on the report and hit deploy. The data source need to be there. In my case, I already have the data sources. So let me go to home. And in the home, I have data sources and I have created the data source called sales. That's what my reports are using. So you, if you don't know how to create it, you can watch my previous videos where I have shown how to create the data source uh, on the report server by using report manager. And uh, also I have shown how to deploy from uh, here. You can right click and uh, hit deploy to deploy your data source. But again, you go to the reports property and define the folder where you would like to put that data source. So here target data source folder. So hit OK. Now we are all fine. We can go ahead and deploy the data source if we like and also we can deploy the reports. So as data source is already there, I'm going to go ahead and deploy the reports. So right click and simply deploy. I'm deploying one report at a time. So you can see the success here. No error. Fine. Go ahead to the drill down report and then deploy. While you are developing your report in SSDT SQL Server Data Tools, you can export from here. But there are very limited chances or requirement where you will be doing that. It is for your own reference. Actual reports will be downloaded by the users. But we have the button here called Export. So if you click here, we have all different options. Uh, you can download the Word, Excel, uh, M, HTML, PDF, TIFF and all CSV, XML file. So think about that. If you have drill down report, what would be XML format of that one? So it depends the way you have designed the report and the way you would like to export that. So maybe for XML report, this this format doesn't make any sense to, do, and to export that to the XML. But for simple detailed report, it more, make more sense uh, when you are deploying to the CS, uh, sorry, exporting to the CSV format. So it's your choice. Uh, all the reports uh, at the end of the day, they will be, once they will be exported to that uh, format, they will be open in that uh, uh, software. So if that software is able to handle that or not. So think about that. So now our reports are deployed. So we go to the report manager and then go to the re uh, export reports demo folder and we have both reports. So, so let me go to detail report and think I'm a business user. I'm taking a look on this report. Okay, I have uh, all these values and now I would like to save these, uh, uh, save this report to the uh, one of my local folder. So I'm going to hit uh, this export button and go to the Excel. I'm exporting the detailed report. So now it will ask me where you would like to save and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and save as and it will give me 
the window where I can select the folder. I would like to save this one under the videos folder. So I'm going to call this one a report, detailed report. That's fine. And hit OK. Now, if I will, uh, let me open from here, or I can go to folder and open from there. So my choice. Once I will open this report, I can take a look. So this is how my report will look in the Excel. So that's very simple. And uh, you can see that rest of those uh, rows are without the border. So if you will export your report, this part will be with the border, whatever you have defined, and this will be all blank or white. So that's how your detailed report will come to the Excel. Now let's go ahead and export a drill down report and see which format we'll get. So let me go back to the, sorry. So go back to the export report demo folder. And now we have drill down. Let me open this report. And now I have Asia. Let me expand this one a little bit. So we see India and Pakistan. So we have the records. Now let's see if I'm in this uh, uh, st st state as of now, I have expanded uh, one region and two regions are not expanded. So in this case, if I will go ahead and export my report to the Excel, what we'll see in Excel. So let's see if we save as. It's uh, taken a couple of seconds. And now I can go ahead and save it. Let's say I will call this one underscore one. Now save it. It will ask you, do you want to open this report once it is saved? Yes, open it for me. So now it is opening. As we have expanded those group, so for Asia, we had expanded that part. And then for countries, we had also expanded. So in the Excel, when it exported, it exported in this format. So if you have expanded the groups, you will see this one, they will be expanded in the Excel as well. And now you can click on this plus and minus sign to uh, collapse them back. So now let's say if I have uh, for region, I have this plus signs here. If I click on this one, uh, they will be expanded and I can see the details. And then uh, if I have further subgroups, uh, I can uh, just click on uh, them. So that's pretty cool. I mean, Excel give a lot of uh, uh, opportunity to drill down uh, these uh, records. Uh, and this comes in a really a good format so i like this format it, it the excel itself handle this quite well but there could be possibilities where excel might not behave the way you want it so you might run into some issues so all of those reports you are exporting to different formats maybe the exporting software where you have exported such as excel or csv or word that might not have all those features uh, to show that uh, report in a specific format. So just remember that, export it, play with it and learn it. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.